Well, hello there and welcome back to the Hull City Fan Central YouTube channel, where today I do have my reaction following Hull City's big win on the road against Birmingham City in Birmingham. So we're going to break down uh, the goals, because Hull City scored more than one goal in this game. And then we're also going to break down some of the key performances in this game, along with extra information that you need to know about regarding Hull City. So we'll first of all, break down um, Hull City's... Oh, I'm going a bit wobbly with the camera. Hull City's magnificent scoring of two goals through the two men you probably predict, Liam Delap and Jaden Philogene. Liam Delap grabbing his goal in the 12th minute. He probably should have got another one in the first half, um, making it 2-0 Hull City. But never mind, Jaden Philogene came to the rescue in the 74th minute to grab the second goal for the Tigers. And what a strike it was. It got me twitching in my bum on the seat. What a strike from Jaden Philogene. That was outside the box. Ryan Longman-esque. There was no chance Ruddy was saving that. He had no Ruddy where he was going to save that. Jaden Philogene, the man, the myth, the legend. Jaden Philogene grabbing, um, I think that's what his second goal for the Tigers. Um, and then he also assisted Liam Delaps, which makes that his fifth sixth assist of the season and to say that he didn't start off the season at Hull is actually astonishing. Jaden Philogene signing of the century, signing of ever. Five million from Aston Villa. He's playing week in, week out and he's producing stuff like that. You cannot deny that this man is going to become a Hull City legend, whether he's here for this season or much longer. He is on a permanent, so he could be staying for as long as we bloody like. Jaden Philogene, he belongs in the Premier League, but with Hull City, that being. So it was quite a um, Hull City heavy game. There was spells where Birmingham did look to have a little bit of pressure with them, but the um, new Wayne Rooney boys didn't seem to have too much backing for them, and it was Hull City's really to run away with it. In true Hull City fashion, though, we thought, well... The past four games, we have, well, or three games before this one, we have seen Hull City pull out draws in games that we probably should have won. Yeah, if we're looking at the last three games or even all of the home games this season. But Hull City actually managed to grab the goals. It was the... Um, it was the strikers and uh, sort of the midfielders getting onto that opportunities that they didn't do um, that we saw against Southampton and many more games this season where they actually managed to pull the trigger. We saw it at the start, but then it started, started to die off. And then we thought, oh, it we're going back to Hull City from last season where we're going to see 1-0 wins because no one's going to score or we're going to lose because no one's going to shoot and all that. Uh, but actually, to be fair to them, 17 shots in this game, eight of them being on target. That's a good ratio. That's a good ratio. Uh, Possession-wise, we've got a bit of dominant in possession uh, over Birmingham. Um, but it was really a game where we saw Hulls that he can actually be a, be a somewhat dominant force in these games. Look at the table. Birmingham started this game above us. Um, I mean, we are we are now above them. We're sitting in eighth position. 20 points. You're looking... I mean, Leicester are pretty much running away with it. I mean, Ipswich sort of running away with it as well. But, I mean, you look at uh, the other, uh, the rest of the, uh, the lower end of the playoffs, sort of, your third through to your sixth, pretty much. You're looking at Leeds are currently sitting in third on 22 points, Preston as well. And then the rest of them are sort of 21-20. Uh, so, we're technically tied for sixth place in the table, goal difference being the only factor there. Um... A good win on Saturday against Preston, which will be a tough test. Let's not say that uh, it won't be because they're currently sitting fourth on the table. Recent form sways otherwise. We could see ourselves back into them playoff places. Lee Mazzina really sort of bringing it out. It's It's got to be um, a time where people are going, oh, but you know, um, in the last sort of five games, our form has been uh, one win today, two draws and two losses. You're going, okay, it's all, it's all right form. Do they deserve probably to go up? Yes. Yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, based off recent form, I'm not, probably not going up, but certainly a playoff place, a chance, uh, a chance there for the end of the season, where it, whether it comes down to the end of the season, we just miss out on playoffs or what. 
I don't, I don't really care to be fair this season because when we knew coming into it that we weren't sort of a, a, the higher caliber team coming into this championship season. But to say that we're currently sitting in eighth position with a possibility of going into the playoffs, depending on what happens on Saturday, this is a really, really strong start to the season for City. I believe it's the um, strongest start to a championship season that we've had in club history and uh, the strongest start to a whole City season since... Was it the Premier League season? Our first one, 08, 09, um, where we, we just went on a tearing streak and went top of the table by Christmas. So it's really um, a great start for City, this. The two losses that we've sort of suffered recently, the Ipswich and, of course, the recent Southampton one, may be sort of neglecting that on fans. But you've got to remember, we've drawn five games. We've won five. We've only lost three. I mean, we considered a Norwich one... Not really a loss. We consider the Southampton one a, a lucky win for Southampton, an unlucky loss for us. The only one that was properly lost was that 3-0 defeat to Ipswich, where we were just outclassed on the day. You've got to remember they're sitting in second. We have also beat uh, Leicester, top of the table. The only team they have dropped points to is Hull City. They've won all 12 of their other games. The only game they've lost is to us, that 1-0 win with that Liam Delap goal. So you, you're looking at that and you're thinking... Surely, surely, surely them results mean that Hull City should be up and there about it. Unluckily that we're losing to sort of some of the sides that are a similar place around us. Um, of course, being um, Southampton currently sitting in sixth, uh, fifth, sorry. Um, Ipswich, of course, in second. And then Norwich, they're sitting quite, quite way about, down below us. I mean, they've had a bit of a drop off since the start of the season. They're currently sitting in 14th, a whole three points below us. But of course, we're so early in the season, those three points, they could easily turn into 20 by the end of the season. We all know how the championship works. So it's a fantastic start to the season for all City. I, I, I've really come on on here to sort of say that, just to get a bit of reassurance into some of my fans. I know some people coming into this game may be calling for Limousini's job, not not fully, but sort of putting their feelers out there saying a few more bad results and we could possibly see a new manager. Or even when the Rain, Wayne Rooney was becoming an available manager, I was thinking... Oh, it'd be nice to get Wayne Rooney in to work alongside Liam Rosini. I think we've seen tonight that we did not want Wayne, Wayne Rooney. He's had two games uh, for Birmingham City, two losses. That was off the back of the last manager getting two wins. So two wins to two losses. That's a negative manager. A negative manager, thank you very much. A negative manager. Liam Rosini is a positive manager. Positive manager. So, uh, I think we've got to talk about some other performances in this game. Uh, Liam Delap, of course, on the scoring sheet again. He's really turned it up a gear this season. Of course, last season he played at two different clubs in the Championship. I think he grabbed two goals um, across the entire season where he was playing at two different clubs. He's changed that around, hasn't he, at Hull? I mean, he's got called into the Young Lions squad twice this season in both international breaks. He's uh, been a key factor in some of Hull City's wins this season and certain points picks up. I mean, he was the man who scored against Leicester, for Christ's sake. He's on, what, four or five goals this season? Which you're looking at, oh, that's not, not too good. Considering that is our, I think that's our top highest goal scorer alongside Aaron Connolly and Ozan Tufan have sort of had a little bit of a drop off recently, not getting too much game time as well. You got to think, Liam Delap, he is alongside Jaden Philogy, and that is a partnership that you are looking for. It's reminding me, I'm not going to say fully yet, of course, we do only have Liam Delap on a loan deal as of yet. Of course, it is reminding me a bit of Grzyski and Bowen, that sort of partnership that we saw there in sort of the fact that when both of them were on their A games, Hull City were winning. When one of them was on the A games, OK, we could see a few goals uh, when both of them were a little bit off. Yeah, Hull City were going to lose 4-0. But we haven't seen that. I mean, that's in part due to Jane and Philogene being an absolute magician. Um, but Liam Delap, even when he has been having a few um, a few brilliant moments in games, Hull City have pounced on from that. Hull City have been doing well off the back of that. You just need them few key uh, moments and key, few key players, sort of them as bright sparks for a team to get lifted up. I mean, we've come from mid-table up now into the playoff places, just off the back of one win. Early on in the season, points matter though at the start of the season. 
and also goals do matter. Um, so we'll see what happens on Saturday against Preston, of course, uh, being probably a bit of a deciding factor rather than a must-win game. Um, I'd be happy with a draw. Of course, I'd like to see a win at home. We haven't seen a win at home in a quite, quite a long time. Uh, I don't think we've seen a win at home all season, or, or, or certainly on since the uh, Sheffield Wednesday game. That's what my memory is serving me correct. Um, so, yeah, only uh, only a few days to go before we find out if we can push into the, uh, into the playoff places yet again. But that's it for this video. Make sure you like and subscribe, as we'll have plenty more Hull City news and content coming out in the next day or two or three or four or five. Or oh, every day.